and they just kind of come peeking around there and before I know it they were all the way out here kind of looking at me <laughs> wow where'd you come from and they were so cute and you know just kind of looking like they wanted to play and they weren't afraid at all I really thought it was best to get someone that knows what they're doing so that they don't get hurt and so that whoever, you know, is trying to catch them wouldn't get hurt. We called several people and yeah, eventually I finally got a hold of the skunk whisperer. They'd put money in and a raccoon hand would come out. All wildlife wants is food, water, and shelter. That's all wildlife wants. That raccoon has substituted that water with Pepsi. We have the Pepsi company on the way to come and open the machine so we can extract these guys without getting them hurt. I'd like to see them be able to live their life out in the wild where they need to be. They're troublesome tweens. Oh, there you are. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was a close encounter. This is what we do every day, and when we can save an uh, animal's life, that's, that makes it much better. These two raccoon kits are going to end up at a wildlife rehabilitator. Yeah, there you go. Come on. Come on. No, oh, no, you don't. There you go. That's the other leg. That's what, you, you got it right. There we go. Oh, yeah. You're all right. Come on. Hop in there and stay with your, stay over there. It warms my heart seeing people like Ms. McWater call. No, no, no you don't. <laughs> no Pepsi for you. There we go. Oh, thank you. It renews my faith in mankind to see people call and want to do the right thing for wildlife.